Hey guys, what's going on? This is Keen Eric, coming back to you with another video review. And in today's video, we got something a little bit different. So, over the course of the past few days, and maybe even a week, um, I have been reviewing a Lego Hero Factory Transformer box. And I got this idea from a YouTuber who I watch, who actually made a top 10 ranking of his video, of his, uh, best lego mocks that he made he did bionicle hero factor and lego transformers and he had his subscribers um rank from best to worst which figures were the best and which figures were the worst or worst and best so i thought to myself you know what maybe i'll do my own ranking video so instead of having my subscribers choose which figures are the worst and which figures are the best i'm going to be making my own ranking video so here's how this ranking video is going to work i've got four tiers tier one which is basically low tier for the not so great figures there's two figures in low tier tier two which is basically mid tier so the middle tier those are the figures who are kind of average to maybe more balanced figures there's probably two or three figures in this tier list. There's tier three, which is pretty much high tier. Those are the figures who are considered actually really good. And then there's fin the final, you know, there's probably two or three mocks in that tier. And then finally tier one, which is extreme tier. And there's only one figure who's gonna go in this final tier. And that's going to be the overall best figure. So, basically how I'm going to be doing this ranking is, basically they're going to be ranked on their design, their build, um, how many accessories they have, so their playability, um, their transformation, how many transformations they have, and, um, you know, how simple their transformation is, and how believable, I suppose, their transformation is. And don't worry, I won't be going over any transformations in this video, alright? I won't be transforming any figures in this video. I will just be discussing the figure in their robot mode since, you know, I've got LEGO Hero Factory Transformer Mox. So, yeah, and before we begin, I guess I should say if there are any figures you think should be placed higher on the list, please do let me know down in the comments section below. And if there, if you guys have a personal favorite Lego mock that I've made, do please let me know down in the comments section below. I'm pretty, I am very interested in knowing which figure you guys are most excited that I reviewed on my channel. So, let's kickstart this video review with the number one, or the number nine, since there's nine figures in this case, um, Lego mock. Unfortunately, that does have to go to a fan favorite. That does have to go with Bumblebee. Uh, Bumblebee, he's not bad. I mean, do I mean... Yeah, I, there's one more thing that I should mention before I start this video. I technically don't have a personal favorite. And I technically don't have a least favorite. So, yes, Bumblebee is last on the leaderboards. But that doesn't mean I hate the figure. He's still fun to mess around with. You know, he's got a believable enough transformation. He's got a pretty fun looking design, you know, pretty fun, actually really accurate to his CGI model, especially on his back. His back is actually very, you know, this whole section where his wings attached to, this is very, very accurate to his actual design. So, yeah, I'm just gonna give you guys a little 360 rotation of each figure as well so you can see just how they're constructed if you want to construct them for yourself you know the only problem is he's got like one accessory that's you know just a regular zamo sphere launcher or meteor launcher or whatever and it doesn't even fire straight it fires down at an angle which is kind of odd but no i mean it's still pretty nice still pretty fun i do still enjoy bumblebee quite a bit and a pretty good looking design as well. Very faithful to his actual CGI. Oops. He's not next. 
Next up, we unfortunately have another somewhat fan favorite. We got Soundwave. So Soundwave isn't bad again. Uh, uh, excuse me. And the only reason why he gets an edge over Bumblebee is because he has multiple vehicle modes and he actually has more effective looking weapons. You know, he's got two sonic cannons and then two like secondary weapons, so yeah. And he has a little bit more complex of a build and a little bit more complex of a design. I do like it quite a bit. You know, definitely looking very superior. And he's also got a little play feature that you can remove the little laser drones from his chest and from his uh, cape. So yeah. Not really much about sound life, and he's in his G1 colors if anyone even cares. So yeah, there is Soundwave. And that pretty much just wraps up the bottom tier, tier number one, low tier. So moving on to the mid tier, these are the figures who I consider to be pretty, you know, they're kind of average, I guess. So next up we got Shockwave. And Shockwave is cool. You know, Shockwave I really do like a lot. The only problem that I do seem to have with him is this sword is a little bit too small. And his transformation, well, it's just not really very believable. And he doesn't have any real accessories. You know, he's supposed to transform into a tank, but I mean, he never really transformed in the movie, so. I'm kind of going off of what the studio series Shockwave, you know, looked like, and even the back of his cast aren't really uh, covered, but you know what, that's, that's such a small thing, really. But he does look great, he looks fantastic, his only saving redeemer is the fact that his design is very, very accurate, it almost looks like the actual CGI version of Shockwave just jumped straight off the screen and is in a Lego version, just in my basin, you know? Very faithful to his actual design, other than the very small sword, but that's also kind of just a, me being a bit nitpicky, probably, so I don't want to be too nitpicky. So there is Shockwave. Next up, we got Ratchet. So Ratchet, again, wait, no. Should have thought that story a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, Ratchet, my... Yeah, okay, we got Ratchet. <laughs> I was thinking either Ratchet or Megatron, but you know what, Ratchet might actually just be slightly a little bit worse. And Megatron mainly because his design probably isn't as great as the Megatrons. Right, let me just get all Ratchet's accessories here. So yeah, um, Ratchet, I mean, he's got green eyes, so that's not a good thing. <laughs> he's got little sirens on his feet. He's alright. I don't hate Ratchet, but the one thing that I don't really like the most about him is this uh, 2007 to 2009 color scheme. I don't really like it, mainly because of the armor. The armor on his forearms is too long, which hardly even allows for him to articulate his elbows. So he doesn't even have any elbow articulation in this design. The back of his legs are rather exposed quite a bit. You know, it's, it's all right. You know, it's okay. He's definitely a figure who does need a little bit more work. I'd say, perhaps. Um, but he does have some pretty good weapons. But again, his weapons do kind of stink because his weapons are handheld. And in the movie, if you remember, his weapons came out of his arm. And also, these weapons aren't really all that fully accurate. They're nice because they blend in with his color scheme pretty well with the, with the white, but just, I don't know. I probably should have put Ratchet last, actually. Honestly, Ratchet might be the overall worst. 
I might need to rethink this. Alright, next up. We got Megatron. Yeah, I'd say Megatron is actually a little bit better than our Ratchet. In terms of weapons, you know, he's got the typical ball and chain and the chain got keeps getting tangled on me. So he's got the ball and chain, and he's also got the fusion cannon, which can plug into his back and can become a part of his vehicle mode. Which it does kind of bother me that his cockpit becomes the fusion cannon in his robot mode. That probably isn't entirely screen accurate, but I mean, what can you do? Uh, he's got the purple Decepticon logo on his chest, you know, <laughs> um, which again, you can Best video ever. Again, you can totally remove that if you really wanted to. There we go. So, yeah. And the back of his calves are actually covered, or the back of his thighs are covered on like shockwaves. The only thing is the back of his calves are not. But again, that's just me being nitpicky. And again, just due to the fact with them being, you know, built out the character and creature building system, that is to be expected. But honestly, I think the character and creature building system works the best for the Michael Bay Transformers, mainly because of the fact that they were techno organic beings. And, you know, the character and creature building system was literally character and creature. So you can make, like, your own robot or robotic alien-like creature. Kind of like Movie 1 Megatron here, and it, it works out pretty well, you know? You can make some pretty alien or looking creatures, and that's basically where the character and creature building system for LEGO comes in play the best. So I just want to think of it like that. There's something else I was going to mention, too. You know, even if their vehicle modes don't don't look the most believable, even so. So up next, we're kind of getting into the high tier. Yeah, we're in the high tier. So we have roughly middle tier, and we have now entered the high tier. So kicking off the high tier, we have unfortunately the leader of the Autobots, Optimus Prime. And Optimus is still pretty cool, you know. Really nice to look at. Pretty healthy amount of accessories. He has two swords, even though I don't have the second sword. Here it is. Here's the second sword. He's got the two battle hooks. You know, I'll drop one of them. He's got a shield from Dark of the Moon. Here, Dark of the Moon shield. He's got the Dark of the Moon battle axe, which is my personal favorite weapon that he has. And he, of course, has his. Unforgettable ion blasters, pew pew bay main. So, yeah. <laughs> um, in terms of design, pretty, pretty accurate. I mean, it's yeah. It it does pay homage to a little bit more of the dark of the moon Optimus because of the abs. You know, he's got that eight pack or that nine pack or whatever. However many abs Optimus has, I'm pretty sure he's got nine abs in there instead of eight. Like little Lego Batman. Yeah. So there's his back. On this other side. Yeah, pretty pretty believable vehicle mode as well. You know, transforms into a truck. You know what you expect from Optimus. Yeah. Alright. Got into the top three now. So in third place. We got the Air Commander Starscream. Starscream is honestly one of my, he's probably my most favorite build out of all these just because he was the most fun to build. He was the most fun to update. He's got such a healthy supply of weapons. He's got his, his buzzsaw that he ironically enough has attached, which is a bit, a bit too big, I'd say, but I mean, it's whatever. The only problem that I really have with him is his color scheme. It's supposed to be more of a dark gray. You know, I mean, I couldn't really make him dark gray, so I just figured I'd just make him, you know, just white. Because that's the closest color I have to him. 
and I'm showing all the rest of his accessories. Pretty believable transformation as well. And, you know, like I said before, pretty healthy amount of um, weapons here. Healthy supply of weapons and accessories. And just a really wacky looking vehicle, or just design, you know? And I don't know, I just, I like it. You know, and as I mentioned in this video review, he reminds me a lot about a, uh, a chicken. At least in the Bayverse star screen. He has a very odd looking design. He's very dangerous, but he's also very stupid as well. So he's, you know, got kind of like the persona of a chicken. And besides, he's a bit of a chicken anyway, so. <laughs> he's a little old chicken and he's a figurative chicken. How ironic. Alright. Coming to the end here. In second place, you can know who's coming. Got my boy Ironhide, of course. Because honestly, who doesn't love Ironhide? Come on. This dude's got so many accessories. It's not even funny. This dude's accessory is just a joke. Like, look at this. He's got a shotgun. He's got the heavy iron weapon from the Dark of the Moon video game. He's got the heavy iron 2.0 weapon from the Dark of the Moon video game. He's got just a giant, I don't even know what to call this, like a Gatling gun of some sorts, I don't know. He's got another, just a regular blaster of whatever, and then of course he has his two arm cannons, which I do like quite a bit. They attach him to his arms very, very cleverly. Very nice design. Very robotic and very alien rather believable transformation as well even though this vehicle mode is a little bit too long out of all of the characters who transform into earth modes iron Age is definitely my favorite you know i i'm not just saying that just because as i drop him <laughs> i'm not just saying that just because iron Age is my favorite transformer period or my favorite autobot at least i'm just saying that just because i just put a lot of love into building this figure and I mean, of course I would. Why would I not put this much effort into building my favorite Autobot of all time? I mean, when you love someone or something this much and you're very passionate about their existence, you, you'd almost do everything for them. And that is very prevalent in the case of LEGO Hero Factory Transformers Ironhide. Oh, come on, camera, stop doing that. Hey, yeah. Ironhide, you better not fall over. I see you trying to tip there, buddy. All right, now for the moment you've all been waiting for. The number one LEGO Hero Factory Transformer mock that I built. My personal favorite. And it's ironic because I just reviewed this guy yesterday and he doesn't even transform at all. And yeah, it's, it's Megatronus, baby. The supreme leader of all the Decepticons. How can I deny him? first place. I mean, this design is just the stuff of nightmares. This is what nightmares would be made of. He, he has a face on his crotch. I never got this shot at off yesterday, but he has the Thornrax face attached to his crotch, and that's what makes his crotch. And it... He has a face on his crotch. Here, I'm just gonna remove it so you can see it better. It's, the, it's pretty much the Thornrax helmet piece. A very alien piece. This definitely do does give him a lot of detail. Very alien. Very just... And I forgot to mention that in his video review yesterday. He's just such an alien looking being. So powerful. Just mystic arts. He's got these skeleton horns on the side of his head. That stick out of the side of his cape. He, has, he even has a chain around his cape. Mainly because this is the uh, Lego Hero Factory... Uh, buildable figures Darth Vader cape from the Lego Star Wars buildable figure line, so that's why he's got the cape. Oh yeah, and if you don't think that a Transformer from the movies has never had a cape, just go back and watch Dark of the Moon and Age of Extinction. I mean, the Sentinel Prime, he kind of has a cape in Dark of the Moon, but it, it's kind of like hidden behind his arms, so it's kind of not really a cape. It's a little bit more believable in the case of Crosshairs from age of extinction you know crosshairs his entire vehicle mode literally becomes a a trench coat so 
you know, I mean, a transformer with a cape or a transformer with a uh, trench coat is, you know, awesome enough, you know. <laughs> and no, I'm not counting Coronation Starscream. Suck it, G1. Yeah, that's right, I said it. Come at me, all you G1 enthusiasts. And also, I forgot to show this off as well, but there is a little bit of a gap for the Darth Vader, in the Darth Vader billable figure cape, and within that gap, you can actually see his skeletal spine is actually starting to... I actually made it so that way the spine, his spine can actually... Sorry, I was just trying to reposition here. But his spine can actually stick through the um the back of the cape so you can actually see a little bit of the spine it's just that uh it's just that scale piece right there from the uh, lego um savage planet series and it's even got a little orange chain right there just because he's hip you know, he's got some arm blades on his forearm guards. He only does have one weapon, and yeah, I know I said that I based these guys off of how many accessories they have. And I mean, this is a pretty cool looking accessory, though. You know, admittedly, it is pretty cool looking. Probably my favorite looking accessory out of all the weapons. And also ranking them in terms of their transformations. And I know he doesn't transform at all. But, I don't know, just the fact that he doesn't transform just makes him a little bit more... Kind of like he's his own separate, definitive character from the Fallen, you know? Like, if he had actually reached his full potential and this is what he would end up looking like. You know, he's got the bone um, pieces that attach to his forearms. You can see that right there. Yeah. And, and those pieces don't even hinder the articulation at all i forgot to completely show that off as well but those pieces just don't even hinder the articulation whatsoever so yeah very mobile with those pieces attached to his forearms very very happy about the way how i made those so yeah that was my top 10 lego hero factory transformer mock ranking video and that's that's basically it all hail Megatronus. <laughs> oh, man. This week has just gotten started and I'm already tired. <laughs> oh, man, I was the busiest I've ever been at work yesterday. I, I need a nap. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, you know what? If I don't review a video in a while, don't take it personally. I've just been really exhausted so far. My aunt from Texas, she's stopping by to visit for until November 10th. Oh yeah, and fun fact, it's actually snowing where I live right now. Totally random thing, but <laughs> all right, let's just, let's just end this video, all right? Just, oh yeah, final thing, you can remove his face like in the movies. Yeah, you're done. All right. You know, you guys know what to do. I don't need to tell you. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and recommend my videos. Those are my enjoyment. Content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know who is your personal favorite down in the comment section below. Okay, bye.